Utah has a higher than the national average rate of divorce. It has higher than the national average rate of suicide. Especially teen suicide is much higher in Utah than it is nationally. This is partly due to the fact that Mormons emphasize perfection. And so many of these young people feel defeated in their striving for godhood. They can't measure up to everything the church is asking of them. And it just so demolishes their self-esteem that they can't go on, and so then they take their life. I always felt like I wasn't, uh, I wasn't doing good enough uh, in the eyes of God. I couldn't ask for a better brother than Kip. Gene and Perry Eliason, father and brother of young Kip, who committed suicide early in 1982 at the age of 16. Kip was almost the perfect son. He was a four-point student, Capital High School. He was involved with the track team where he got the most inspirational track team member. Kip was my best friend and partner since his mother passed away when he was five years old. The last two years, Kip was so busy with his other activities with the church that most of our outside activities came to a halt. The more deeply Kip got involved with the church, uh, the more depressed he became. So I sat down with Kip and would discuss this problem with him and uh, to find out what was bothering him. At that point, he told me that uh, he had fittings, uh, sexual fittings that were in direct conflict with the teachings of the church. When Kip went to the LDS counselors, they only reinforced the teachings of the church, which just increased Kip's fittings of unworthiness. I know what Kip was going through. I went to the same type interviews that he did. The pressure was great to strive for worthiness, to be perfect all the time. The only problem is Kip took it a little too seriously. This is all I have left for my son, Kip. It was the last letter he left me. Dad, I love you more than words can say. If it were possible, I would stay alive for only you. For I really only love you, but it's not possible. I must first love myself, and I do not. The strange feeling of darkness and self-hate overpowers all my defenses. I must unfortunately yield to it. This turbulent feeling is only for a few to truly understand. I feel that you do not comprehend the immense fitting of self-hatred I have. This is the only way I feel that I can relieve myself of these feelings now. Hurry on with your life and be happy. I love you, Gore. It works, it'll say. Seth, Kip. 